Good morning, this is Federico Bentley from Ayondo Markets giving you this morning's market update. This morning, we shall start by looking at the European markets where the UK 100 rolling is 15 points higher, the France 40 rolling high is almost 15 points higher as well, and the Germany 30 rolling is higher by almost 110 points. Last week, we saw the bank cut its deposit rate to minus 0.4% from minus 0.5%, as well as expanding its quantitative easing program by 20 billion euros to 80 billion euros a month, which will run beyond the end of March 2017 if necessary. Elsewhere, shares rose in Asia, with the Nikkei share average ended up 1.7% at 17,233 spot 75 points. Meanwhile, oil prices also raised comments from OPEC rebel Iran and a falling US rig count fed into hopes that market had likely bottomed. Brent crude, the global benchmark, rose 0.1% to 40 spot $41 a barrel this morning. West Texas Intermediate Crude, the US benchmark, added 0.5% to 38 spot $32 a barrel. The Bank of Japan's monetary policy meeting today will kick off a week of central bank news. The US Federal Reserve's two-day meeting starts on Tuesday, and then there's the Bank of England's meeting and rate decision on Thursday. Focusing on oil prices, inched into the red today as oversupply concerned trumped increasing optimism that market had likely reached a bottom. Brent crude, the global benchmark, reversed early gains to fall 0.7% to $40.09 per barrel this morning. West Texas Intermediate crude, the US benchmark, slumped 1% to $38.12 a barrel. This cave, despite Morgan, at Morgan Stanley adding its voice, calls that oil prices have likely bottomed out, but it warned that a slowing economy and a higher output meant that the gains would be limited. Now for some corporate news. SSE has taken a sold of 49.9% stake in its Clyde Wind Farm, located in South Lanarkshire, to Greenco UK Wind for £355 million. Cable and Wireless Communications released details of its acquisition by Liberty Global. And Spire Healthcare's Chief Executive Rob Roger is leaving to take up a role as the CEO of a large privately financed property business. Now looking at some limited key data and focus, we have today only at 10 a.m. the EU industrial production for January. That's all for today's news, so thank you very much for listening and all the best on your day's trading.